90 Nocturne Boulevard presents 1995. More delays for the space shuttle. That's it. You must equip. What's up with this virtual Game Boy? And comment to rumors of Royal Devore. Does that mean you pay for it and just pretend? And now back to the Prisoner of Hancock House. Season 1, Episode 19. Quick, any updates to share? Nothing new on the old team, but I do have a line into someone who worked debrief. What's the holdup? Left the agency. Bit hard to track down. All right. Judge? Luckily, I kept busy while I was processing. Good. I ran that bloody house through every database in existence. Squeaky clean. Mother and son moved in fall of 1940. Roger was early teens. No complaints from neighbours, no missing persons or pets. Only thing in the newspapers was their phone number, the one from the 40s. Really? Yup. Roger placed an ad to mow lawns. Reasonably priced, too. Draft records. What? He must have registered. Can we get those? I'm on it. Later. Good. We wanted to tape out the upper floor this morning. So the stairs are here. Uh, we already have this part of the outline. Uh, yeah. Good thing you got the coffee. My pleasure. Well, from the top of the stairs, the door to my right was Roger's. I think the wall went basically straight from here over. So he slept over the dining room, where he later made his appearance as a specter? Hmm. Yeah. Back here, over the kitchen, I think the bathroom was there. With maybe a closet or something, uh, here. And on the other side? A railing around the stairwell, so you could walk to the room above the front porch. What was there again? Lots of windows and dead plants. Betty must be falling down on the job. And over here, opposite Roger's room, was the door to the mother's room. Just the one bathroom. It was an old house. Right here. Hand on the railing. Yes, boss. Hawk. Go around. I'll come from this end. We'll meet in the middle. Right. What are little boys made of? Snips and snails and little girls are sugar and spice. And all things nice. Uh, boys do bad uh, things. Oh, Morgan. But it's the girls that get hurt. Morgan! What? Is there someone right behind me? Don't move. Tell me exactly what happened. Oh, yeah. They had those back then, too. The cameras? Of course. Aren't they a little dated? It's a well-kept secret of the agency that Polaroids are more likely to pick up supernatural phenomena than either standard exposure film or the new digital ones. Why? There are theories, but no one's been able to prove anything. My thought is that the film can only hold an unnatural image so long, and so it's the speed at which it develops into an actual picture that matters. Of course, to test that, one would have to have a ghost appear in a dark room and immediately run any film you take to see if it made normal cameras more effective. But why use them now? There are no spirits here. So we have pictures of your layout to consult when we get there. Where? Oh. When, uh, when will that be? Soon as the cars are ready. Cars? It's a bit of a drive. No need to cram all five of us into one vehicle. Unless you'd prefer to stay behind, Professor? If you need me to, of course I would. But if you think I might be of any assistance... Oh, you can ride with me. I've got some questions about a lecture you gave a couple years ago on the generation of ectoplasm. Certainly. Mark, do you mind? Sure, I can... You can ride with me. Last stop. Where are we? Bus station's just past that Starbucks. I won't even see where you go. What? I'm letting you go. Walk away. Out of this mess. Cash? Untraceable. Sorry I can't free up your van and stuff, but I'm not a miracle worker. Why? 
random isn't perfect. Things are happening, and I don't even know what they are. Professor Hal as much as said I couldn't trust him. What about you? I don't completely mistrust him, but I don't know who's pulling his strings. No, what about you? How open are you willing to be? How? Oh. Yeah, you deserve it. Damn. So? Keep it. I'm in. Nocturne Boulevards, The Prisoner of Hancock House, features Michael Coleman as Mark Stockman, Kimberly Poole as Agent Cook, Mark Olson as Agent Zachary, Rick Lewis as Professor Howell. Also heard in this episode, Tanya Maloyevic, Reese Torres Miller, Julie Hoverson, Nyla Haygood, the Prisoner of Hancock House was written by Julie Hoverson. Sound editing was done by Julie Hoverson. The show's theme music was composed by Dane Russell Leonardson. Voices in the opening credits include Gwendolyn Jensen Woodard, Sarah Golding, Terry Cooper, and Julie Hoverson. The 19 Nocturne Boulevard theme, Netherworld Shanty, was composed by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com. Additional music for this episode by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com. Sound effects were licensed from SoundSnap, Pro Sound Effects, and Free Sound Effects, or used under a Creative Commons license. All persons, places, and things in this episode are fictitious or used in a fictitious manner, and any resemblance to people living dead or undead is purely coincidental. Many thanks to our Patreon supporters. For a full list of cast members, and to find out how to help support the show, please email us at 19nocturne at live.com, or check out our Facebook page. We love to hear from people. Copyright 2019 to Julie Hoverson and Reality Productions.